Thank you, gentlemen. Let's move on to our final topic for today. Like Seven's twins, the Nigerian police and brutality are inseparable, and serious surgical operations are required to separate them. The police struck in Agege area of Lagos when they went there to quell a student court clash. The police operatives from Dokwemu Division were accused of damaging the eye of a 12-year-old teenager, Amina Alege, with tear gas canister in the process of bringing sanity. Amina's father, who lamented Negnet by relevant authorities, is demanding justice. Let's share this touching story by TVC News Adidonja Salama Denigi with you. الله أكبر الله أكبر أشهد أن لا On the 9th of February 2024, when we closed from school, when I went to go and pray, the police now came and they started shooting tear gas. And I hide beside one car so that it will not meet me. The next day I want to run inside the box. The tear gas hits me. Then immediately, the police officer came to pick me. Then I took me to the police station. They delayed me there. The hijab I used to cover my eye was soaked. Amina Talege's story brought me to Cement Agege Road, where the family resides. Halima Alege is Aminat's mother. She is a petty trader who struggles to make ends meet. But on the 9th of February 2024, the Alege family will never forget in a hurry. It was on this fateful day police operatives attached to the Dopemu division in Lagos State are accused of shooting their 12 year old daughter with a tear gas canister that cost her an eye. That's what people said. This eye is already damaged. The only thing they will do is they will remove the eye and plant the artificial there. And we are going to go to three surgery. Because all the bone that all the eye is already damaged. So after the bone, they have to do it perfect so that it will look normal again. After that one, they will not plant another artificial eyes so that people will not know that it doesn't have one eye, it's only one eye that's using. Commissioner of Police too came to our place and said he promised us that they are going to do something about the government. And nothing, none of them do anything. Even the first surgery that we do, it's us that do it. Me and my husband, we spend like 1.5 million for first surgery. Every time, Public school, we only love public school. We can't know what. This is the NG at the round, mate. The NG at the soft at the round, mate. We want my net to have a best shape of you, a best shape of you, let me know why. Aminat is a class 3 junior secondary school student of Adam Yakubu Memorial High School at Iloro Agigi. Janet Adibayo is Aminat's best friend. Now that all these things are happening, she does not used to play again. And sometimes when she wants to write, her hand used to shake and her body used to be hot. When she's walking, she will say that maybe I should help her, something like that. And that's some changes I've seen in now so far. And sometimes she just only be on her own. She'll stay on her own. She won't do anything. The young girl narrated our deal. The police officer came to pick me. Then I took me to their police station. They delayed me there. I was losing too much blood. And then I took me to uh, Alain Lepo Hospital. Then when I was at Lepo, they ran away when they dropped us in Lepo. 
Then when I slept, when I woke up, mommy told me that we were in last suit or school suit. And I used to feel like I'm the only one that have one eye. Why is she crying? Don't cry. Don't cry. Don't cry. Why is she crying? Why are you crying? Don't cry. Why are you crying? Don't cry. Don't cry. Why are you crying? Yeah. <laughs> be strong for your parents, okay? This second eye, you need it. This will not stop your education. Her story got me teary. Away from the school, my journey began. I needed to dig deeper into the injury, the neglect, tears and fears of what the future holds for the beautiful, brilliant young girl. My next port of call was the Division of Police Headquarters, Dr. Mualabo Agege, where the policeman that allegedly shot tear gas into Amino's eyes works. It was this police station she was delayed before taking to the hospital. The division of police officer CSP Adebayo Hakim was in a meeting and couldn't see us. We left and went to see the commissioner of police, Lagos State Command, who we learned had visited Aminat twice in the hospital. She promised that any police officer found culpable in the matter will be dealt with in accordance with the law. I will discover that some of the students are at their very youthful age have started becoming members of a court, a, a gang. The police medical report from the Lagos State University Teaching Hospital, Lasuth, indicates that Aminat had fallen on a blunt object. Tear gas was not fired into the eyes of Aminat, it was fired to the air. I think the effect of the tiger, which, which you are aware of, causing pains on the eyes, might have caused Aminat from, to fall down on a sharp object. I believe the sharp object is what might have caused the blindness, because the medical report is very clear. That it was a blunt object and that caused the blindness. And there is no exit or wounds in the aspect of the eyes that was blinded and no foreign bodies were detected. I don't know where the police got that report from. Our own report does not say that. No, it does not say that. You see, there's no way a doctor who is being called to manage a case of an injury will sit down in his clinic or in the emergency room and say this is what caused the injury. It's a really sobering story. Um, I don't think this back and forth about what causes injury is necessary. I am even ashamed on behalf of the police listening to the chief medical director of Lansford saying that he does not know where the police got their, report. their reports that says uh, she fell on a blunt object. And the girl was very clear that she didn't fall on a blunt object. And a blunt object would not have caused that kind of damage. The police went to do a job of um, bringing calm to an area where cults 
uh, clashes had happened among students, uh, secondary mm -hmm. students. They are already uh, involved in cultism. I don't know the kind of homes where those ones come from. But the point that I'm making is a mistake can happen in the course of police doing its work. The ideal thing to do is for us to find a closure to this matter. If she was hit by a canister, it couldn't have been deliberate. Mistakes happen, collateral damage happens, even in war. So the ideal thing is to admit that this has happened. And if the police find it difficult to admit that their people caused this injury, the state government should not watch things degenerate. The governor needs to step in and try to solve the problem. It doesn't cost an arm and a leg to solve this problem. She needs a set of surgeries. Let the governor, because the governor can't claim that he has not seen this. Let the governor step in and help the police. Because the police are reluctant to admit that uh, this was their fault. And I'm saying that it happened when the police came to solve a problem. It was not deliberate. No policeman will have directly fired a projectile at the guest's eyes. Mm. So this back and forth is not necessary. Somebody has to take responsibility. At this stage now, the governor of Lagos State needs to take responsibility. We've seen some governors intervene in matters like this. We will go visit the family. and We've seen if, if, they, if we need to show some of uh, such interventions, we can. So the governor of Lagos State has to intervene on this matter and solve this problem. People are watching. You are everyone's father as the governor. And the good thing, the governor's wife is a, a, a medical practitioner of international uh, pedigree. She knows the pain that this family is going through. It's the governor who can put closure to this matter now. Because if we leave it, so the police, we are waiting for the police. No, the police, they will not admit. We don't know where they got their uh, medical report from. Mm. That's to tell you that they don't want to own up. So what do you then do? Since this is the situation that we find ourselves, somebody has to take responsibility. All right. And that person is the governor of Lagos State. Put an end to the mystery that this family is going through. I'm choking back tears watching that woman crying. Because this could easily happen to my own child. It can happen to anybody. So, Governor Sonwolu, the name of God, step in and solve this problem. That is what we want to see. Yeah, yeah this is a very unfortunate incident. Um, the police cannot be perfect. Sometimes there are unforeseen consequences when they are carrying out their official actions. But the least we expect is to deny, you know, to keep on denying and to try to exonerate themselves. You know, nobody is saying that, oh, somebody fired, deliberately fired, but at least be honest enough. The family needs some sense of honesty. The society needs some sense of honesty from the police. We are sorry. This thing has happened. We will investigate and find out what, who was responsible mm -hmm. to ensure that this does not happen again. That is enough to console all of us and even the family. But when you are now denying, you know, trying to cover up and all that, it adds insult to the injury. Yes. And I think we, apart from what uh, Baba Gide has said about uh, the state governor, we also have senators and members of the House of Rep and Assembly that are representing mm -hmm. the constituency where this young lady lives. And this should be part of, you know, you have constituency allowance and all that. This kind of lady, we should not allow her fusha to be destroyed. She's just 12 years old. You know, she could become the president of this country. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if it's to take her abroad, you know, the senator, the state governor, you know, the House of Rep representative, 
you know, they should do something so that they can, we can save the future of this young girl. Look at the family. That's their greatest investment. Mm. Your children are the greatest investment of every family. So we want to see action taken. And the police should, keep, should stop, you know, trying to be defensive. I don't know if the commissioner of police has visited the family, but he has to do that. You know, the senator, the governor, they need to give hope, inspire us, you know, so that we can have some level of confidence in institutions. All right, thank I you. I once saw a, um, a video of, um, I think, an NGO. Going, yeah, it gave one million euros. Yeah. You know, so if an NGO can give, um, uh, assist them one million mm. euros, and the family has spent a lot of yeah. money, you know, this is not uh, a family of considerable means. They, they, they are just getting by. Mm. The husband has no job anymore. And there are now people, NGOs are now coming, bringing money. What is the government doing? That is the point. The government exists for the people. Yeah. So it's the, the government that should step in at this, at this stage. All right. Thank you, gentlemen. As we wrap up, uh, we sincerely hope uh, this family gets justice. And like Bikio said, uh, the governor steps in at this point. Thank you so much, gentlemen. Vajide Koladi told you. Adi Thank you so much. Thank you. And thank you very much for watching. That's all on Journalist Hangouts on Sunday. Join us tomorrow for the regular episode of the program at 5 p.m. You can watch the repeat broadcast of this episode tonight at 11.30. We are on YouTube at youtube.com forward slash TVC News Nigeria. I am Ola Jumokeo Latinji. Bye for now and God bless Nigeria.